even dynamic stretch, big circles, going backwards, stretching shoulders, lats. Try to get about 20 to 30 repetitions, big circles going forward, so it's an easy combo. Circle backwards, circle forward, stretching lats, shoulders. Going straight to bad feet. Trying to get to your butt, but not necessarily have to do it. It's all about quad flexibility. So if you feel like you cannot get up there and you're already getting stretched in your quads, that's good enough. What's more important that your knees are aligned with your hips. So you don't want to keep your knees forward. You want to make sure your knees go back. Adductor, so stretching in the thigh. Make sure that outside leg gets completely straight. So always when you get to that stretch part, you hold for like half a second. So this is all dynamic stretch, active dynamic. Now by switching over here to hamstring, very tra easy transition. So here, about half a second. Hold. We're going to side rotations, torso rotations. You see how I'm lifting my foot up, allowing my torso to rotate all the way releasing hip right here call this Jane Fonda this probably reminds you 80s aerobics these guys were super fit they could jump they could dance they had great bodies so here we're stretching the side, the side of your body. So your obliques, intercostals, even like the side of your hip, the lateral muscles of your hip. Inhale in between, up and so. Inhale, up and so. Get a little head rotations is to stretch your neck muscles side to side. We actually forget about stretching neck. And that's super important, especially now, these days, you know, people are on the computers a lot, phones, neck muscles, upper trapezius, getting super tight. This is getting a little bit of mobility. We're gonna call this Maradona. You probably saw this stretch soccer players before the game. We opening up hips, we stretching inner thighs. There's a little bit of movement, it's almost like a little dance. Step step. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now, you're gonna bend your knees, you're gonna put your hands down, lift one heel up. It's called high sprinter. High sprinter. All of our hamstrings. All of our hamstrings. You get at least 15 repetitions per leg. So that's good. You get about 30 reps. Now, straight from here. Seems very innocent. I'll go this way. Take your feet over and you reach out to the side. For me personally, this stretch just feels amazing.
said it is a great stretch for your shoulders, shoulder mobility. See the cool thing about this stretching is you have mobility, flexibility, a little, a little bit of brain work or a lot actually, a lot of brain work. And you have the rhythm, you know, you have the rhythm. goes back, getting more support, anchor your back foot, so you get a nice stretch in your hip flexor or your hip flexor and again you're opening up obliques, intercostals, so adding really time, I could do more stretching, some of them would require me getting like you know on the ground so I'm not gonna do it today uh, maybe you don't want to get wet maybe you don't want to get dirty but I just showed you right now in like five minutes five minutes you know I feel all loose and relaxed and in a way kind of like you know a little hyper because some of the stretches elevated my heart rate so I, I almost felt like I was doing a little bit of cardio as I was doing stretching and mobility and I miss the sunrise, but you got the sunrise. You said the whole thing. So, until next time, hit me with questions. What do you want me to cover? What topic? Is it cardio? Is it mobility? Is it, you know, workout at home? Okay? Let's, uh, let's get ahead to 2021 and let's make a plan. Let's make a plan now, this week between you know Christmas and New Year's and then boom start really hard January 1st or 2nd and crash goals quick this is it sunrise sunrise at New York City take care and actually we're going back I'm gonna have to go back into that fun